Here's the first module in a series of uh, synthesizer DIY. It's a CD4106 dual sawtooth oscillator. The, it's a falling edge. Just using, it's just a dis, repeatedly discharging capacitor. It's got a pretty wide range as you can hear. And again, there are two of them. So you can connect the outputs. And then you can also do frequency modulation. So the circuit has two main parts. It's pretty basic. You just have the two oscillators, which are, again, from the CD4106, using two of the gates off of the chip, and then they're both going into a single transistor buffer, and that's the output. And you also have an input, with a current a limiting resistor, one mega ohm for every input, and there's two of them. So I have a paper circuit which has everything you should need on it except for the potentiometers and the input output interface. I personally go with screws so that I can use alligator clips because I find them much more convenient than banana jacks or auxiliary jacks but anything should work as long as you wire it up correctly. For power I'm just using a 9 volt wall warp like what is used for guitar pedals but you could also use a 9 volt battery or some other source of 9 volts as long as the amperage is sufficient. I had some demos at the start of the video and those were it going into other modules which well they're currently on the breadboard but they're soon to be modules that will be in this series a LM358 or any dual op amp uh, filter resonant low pass filter with a nice amount of overdrive and a Vactrol voltage controlled attenuator. In the next few weeks I'll be uploading a tutorial on making this module which is gonna be just a crazy sort of filter thing that also brings out weird subharmonics I believe from the hard syncing. Yeah, it's quite it's got quite an interesting sound. So hopefully people will stick around and we'll have I'll have people building their own modular systems running off of 9 volts alongside this because I'd like to continue this series for quite a while. Also, another thing worth noting, I did not design this circuit. I got this from electromusic.com. They have a lot of very useful information there, designs for what are called Lunetta synthesizers, which are mostly comprised of uh, CMOS 4000 series chips and then some basic analog circuitry to complement that for things like filters and such. I'll link to the design in the description, the thread it's on. So to build, it's a paper circuit. It's a little bit different than your typical perf board strip board or point to point soldering or whatever else you've done. What you do is you poke holes in it 
with a needle, that's what I use. Well, firstly, you print it out, and I have the PDF for that linked, as well as the schematics and stuff in the description of the video. So you first print it out, cut around the edges, and fold it down the middle. And then you apply glue and fold it over the edges of a piece of cardboard. Then once it's dry, you cut out the cardboard and begin to poke holes where holes are necessary. And what you're doing is basically point-to-point -point soldering, it's just a little bit more guided. Because you will be directly connecting the leads of components to each other, but you'll have the lines to follow. So you put the components in through the top, and then you wire them together in the bottom. And if there's, for example, a joint where you don't have enough wire or lead from the component to cross, then you will have to use either scrap lead, like what you've cut off previously, or just normal solid core wire. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions, criticisms, or anything else, just comment or email me. My email is on my website, uvknhn.6te.net. If you build it, I would love to see photos and talk to you. If you need help with anything, I can help you with your build, most likely. 